to come see you what oh as I had to piece that together for a second no knowledge is power it is it is never too early it it sometimes is too late and so this is a fantastic question because sometimes it really is too late but it's never too early never 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 too early my favorite outfit ever, Olivia, is that right? We like the plunging neckline, is that it? Is that it? Is it the flowers? Is it the plunging neckline? Is it the big sparkly thing above on the end of my necklace? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, my loves, welcome. Welcome to my life. It's great so far. Love it. Good. That's so good. That's super good. Uh, the flowers in the color scheme. Interesting. Because there's no color. Because is Correct me if I'm wrong. But technically, is black not a color? Like, and let me do this. Let me Google this. Because I, I thought I remember seeing this one time like white is all the colors and black is the absence of color so it's not a color flowers in the color scheme let's do this is black a color and google said or a shade black is the absence of light some consider white to be a color because white light com com compromises all hues on the visible light spectrum and many do consider black to be a color because you combine other pigments to create it on paper. But in a technical sense, black and white are not colors. They're shades. Look at you. Yes, correct. Love it. Love it. So interesting. Uh, <laughs> so technically speaking, zebras are shady. Uh, I like my toxic ex of five years. Thanks to your videos, I couldn't be happier. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, we got the freedom bell. This, my love, this, this antique Tibetan bell is for you. Good. Congratulations. I love you. Welcome. Now, listen, get no more assholes. Don't ever end up with someone like that again. Use that no kissing for three months dating rule. Use the 12 character traits to gauge somebody before you kiss them. Follow all the instructions and no more assholes. Do not kiss somebody who doesn't introduce you to their people. Gauge them by their people as well. Make sure everything they say is the truth. I got back from a toxic ex of four years. No, no love, no, 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 no. Why, why would you do that? Can you talk about uh, different intelligent levels in relationships? Sometimes it's frustrating. So not a, pro not a problem I've ever had because I've always picked people who were intelligent. Um, that's something I love about my husband. He's so smart. Does he ever piss me off? Yeah, he does. Um, uh, he does this thing where I'll ask a question and he doesn't answer the question. He says something that doesn't answer the question and it makes me so mad. But uh, he is very intelligent, very smart. Um, and I, I absolutely love being with intelligent people. So um, is this your situation? Is that why you're asking? They say like like attracts like. Like this, this thing about opposites attract um uh i you know it, it, you know maybe introverts and extroverts right like you know i'm more extroverted my husband is more introverted um right so we're opposites in that way uh i'm a liberal he's a conservative didn't know that before we got married but that's okay you know we respect each other's differences uh but in terms of intelligence levels i would think that that's one of those things where it's like attracts like 
Well, guys, is the video glitchy at all? I don't have kids. My husband has two. Uh, sorry, just, uh, my assistant is in Australia, so when she messages me, it's at nighttime, because it's daytime for her. She's tomorrow, which is really cute. Uh, yes, I'm more extroverted. He's very introverted. He's way more creative and very logical, and I'm way more creative, and he's very logical. Interesting. Do, 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 do. I kind of feel like I should have eaten something before going live, but that's okay. My anxious attachment style is ruining my relationships. How can I fix this? First of all, ditch the label. The label is unnecessary. You, The label is completely unnecessary because you can change. So you literally don't need that label. Um, I, I really think it was created to make you feel even worse about yourself and therefore need more, uh, mental health help, um, because the label is completely unnecessary. We talk about behaviors and then we talk about the behaviors that will give you the results that you need. The, so talk about the behaviors that are getting in your way give you a label and then talk about the behaviors that are going to give you uh, what you need to be happy that's their way my way is talk about the behaviors that are getting in your way and then talk about the behaviors that you're going to need to do to make yourself happy exactly the same outcome no need of a label that label gave you additional stress it gave you additional worry it made you feel like you're wearing an emotional and mental std it is not necessary you don't need it so ditch the label Focus on the behaviors. How do you get an ex off your mind? Uh, first, understand that it takes time, right? Because your ex owns a neural pathway and that pathway will fire off randomly for the rest of your life. Just like I own a neural pathway in your brain and every now and then, I will fire off randomly into your mind every now and then. You have tons of other memories that fire off in your brain every now and then, and yet you don't give them much significance, do you? You just go, oh, look at that, and then you go on with your day. That's exactly what you need to do with your ex. You need to give it the same level of relevance, which is this, every time you think about him. Oh, look at that, neural pathway, firing off. Okay, what else am I gonna do now? That's it. Is it bad to jump into a relationship after a breakup, five-year relationship? Uh, if you think this is going to turn out to be a relationship, like if you just jump into something and you don't know who the person is, if you're very lucky, then uh, great, this might work out for you. If you have good intuition, then great, this might work out for you. But if you have a pattern of choosing the wrong partner, then chances are you're repeating that pattern by getting into a relationship with somebody you don't know. So after a breakup, what you should be doing is saying, I'm gonna use a no kissing for three months dating role to give myself time and space to know somebody before choosing them for a relationship. I'm also gonna read no more assholes to make sure I don't choose an asshole for my next relationship. And think I'm only in a relationship to avoid being alone. Advice, uh, that would require a coaching session if you want me to understand your situation and give you some help on that, my love. Uh, do you think having kids can ruin a marriage? Uh, like anything can ruin a marriage. So like anything is possible, right? Anything is possible. Uh, but personally for me, kids were not something that I felt like I wanted to take on in my life. That was a level of financial sacrifice, of emotional sacrifice, of goal sacrifice, of time sacrifice. And if I have a kid, that ends up being bedridden and in diapers and I have to spoon feed for the rest of my life. That's not something I wanted to um, uh, take the chance with. So anything is possible. I thought I was extroverted till me at my boyfriend. That's cute. Music puts me to sleep. Awesome. Do, 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 do. And nobody, hello loves, welcome lovelies. Do we have any newbies? Any newbies, say newbie here. Newbie here, I've explained my needs but they still aren't being met, what now? Uh, I would suggest a coaching session because I don't know what your needs are. 
I don't know uh, what your partner is actually doing. Hello, 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 lovelies. Oh, look what we got. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Are you my good boy? Hi. Hello. Are you my good boy? He's so lovely. He's so lovely. He's so lovey dovey. He's going to give some cuddles now. Uh, let me see. Oh, I'm so glad I found you too. Hello, newbies. Hello, newbies. So lovelies. If you want a notification when I go live, uh if you want a notification when i go live what you're going to do is click my picture here once or twice until you get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell click on the bell when you do that say i just did hello <clears throat> my wife is a stay-at-home mom she says i don't respect her how do i show her that isn't right i don't know without diving into your particular situation and finding out what's happening a perception is reality so your perception may be skewed or her perception may be skewed but i don't know unless you do a coaching session and i'm able to get all the details in particulars if uh, anybody who wants to get a coaching session to gain clarity on their particular situation uh go to my bio click on the link tree, click that coaching button it's going to take you to a page follow the instructions on the page to book yourself in for a session I'm 22 and he's 28. Weird. Yeah, you're getting kind of weird. Um, because you're still a few years away from having a fully formed brain. He does have a fully formed brain. So, uh, you know, he's kind of, why, why is, why does he, it's, it's weird is, you know, like, I, I wonder about him. I wonder about him would like to listen and get some schooling. You're in the right place, lovely. Once in a while, I feel like I need time away from my boyfriend. Is that normal? Yes, that's totally normal, totally fine, uh, totally okay. My husband works very long hours uh, and I'm completely okay with that. I'm okay with him working 100 hours in a week. I'm okay with having all this time to myself to do my thing. <coughs> Nope, I'm not licensed. I saved my time and money and became a coach, got an award, wrote my books, created my platform, teach what I teach, change people's lives. Mm, I'm head over heels for a girl I like, but she believes she doesn't deserve to be happy. Any advice? Um, you can't change her mind. Charlie is so cute. He's, he was a year old in March. Um, you can't change her mind. She needs to decide that she wants to change her mind. So if that's something she wanted to work on, you can send her my way. I can help her with that. But um, she's, it's, 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 this is the same thing as people come to me who say, my friend is in a bad relationship. How do I convince them to leave? And I'm like, you can't. If you're practicing willful ignorance to your own existence, there's nothing anybody else can do for you. You have to decide that you want things to change for yourself. And then you start the path to actually changing it. Fifty-two and seventy, totally fine. Twenty-five and seventy, totally fine. 25 and 105, totally fine. Once the brain is fully formed, the age gap doesn't matter because now you're on the same playing field. It's, it's kind of like when you're under uh, 24, 25, you're in elementary school. So should an elementary school student date a high school student? Can a relationship succeed after one cheated? Anything is possible, but it takes a whole lot of work. Uh, have you both fixed that shit? Love it, still having communication problems with my boyfriend. Uh, if you need some extra help, come get coaching. I feel that I overthink everything in a relationship. How do I stop? Get started with meditation, grab fix that shit, do what's in that book. Lately, I felt my boyfriend is distancing himself from me, but he says he's fine. 
It's making me insecure. You're making you insecure. Your thoughts, your imagination are making you insecure. And this feeling of insecurity is giving you a negative vibration. Who here has thought about a friend and a minute later, you get a text message from them? Who here has had that happen? Who here has thought about a friend and a minute later, they get a text message from them? Say, I have... I have. Hello, Samad. Yeah. So listen, we don't need to talk in order to communicate. We don't need to talk in order to feel each other. When you're in this insecure mode, due to your imagination, you are giving off vibrations that are negative. And it's like VO. Um, and so if you don't address your own emotions and your thoughts, you have BO because you put yourself in a negative place. You don't want to be close to somebody who has BO. So what's going to happen is your partner will start to distance themselves. You know that that saying where, you, uh, what is it like, um, you know, basically if, if, you, if you think it enough, if you say it enough, it will come true, it will happen. That's what happens. If you just put yourself in a state of insecurity and it's not necessary, your partner isn't actually doing any, anything, but your imagination is creating this, then you start becoming somebody that they don't want to be close to because instead of feeling warm and fuzzy around you because you are feeling good and happy, it's, it's like, oh, mm, something is off. It doesn't feel right. And, and, and it doesn't feel right because you're off. So you need to address your imagination so that you ease your emotions um, and stop asking your partner for reassurance when you are the one who's putting yourself in a negative state. I just bought Fix That Shit. Can't wait to read it. I'm excited for you. What do you think it means when my, when my husband asked me to do everything for him? Um, I don't know. Does he need a mom? Like, I don't, I don't know, love. Uh, this is a particular situation. I really can't accurately answer particulars, um, you know, because I don't have all the details. It's been two weeks, no contact. Should I reach out if I miss him? I don't know. This is a particular, I don't know. I, was he a douchebag? Like, you know, is he a selfish short-term thinker? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you reach out to a selfish short-term thinker. I wouldn't suggest you reach out if nothing has changed. Like if the reason why you guys broke up is because there was issues and you don't know if they've changed. Um, you miss them because you're forgetting, you know, what was wrong in your relationship don't forget what was wrong in your relationship but if you need an assessment so that i can help you understand what you should do then that would take a coaching session he wants you to stop what you're doing to get him a drink just because he wants it does it mean he gets it i don't i don't know I don't know, love. I don't know. You'd have to get a coaching session so that I can actually understand. I'd have to ask a ton of questions. Um, you'd have to tell me what's going on. I need to know what the behaviors are. Um, there's a lot of things that I need to understand in order to help you understand your particular situation. This is a really good place to um, have like get some general understanding of human behavior but i don't know why your man treats you like that and why he expects that what should you talk about on the second date um so the first one is fundamental values right the first one is making sure the two of you are on the same page uh fundamental values are those things that absolutely need to align with somebody um, because you need them to partner with you on these things. I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to raise them under a certain religion. I want to do lots of traveling with my partner. I want to buy a house. Fundamental values are things your partner needs to want as much as you. Um, so that you need to talk about on the first date. If in fact they are aligned, 
Then the next conversation is going to be the no kissing for three months dating rule. Hey, I just want to let you know I'm using a no kissing for three months dating rule to make sure I choose the right person to start this relationship journey with because I'm not looking for just a hookup because, you know, that's pretty easy. Do I find you attractive? Do I trust you? Let's go. I'm looking for a long-term committed relationship. So there's a lot of things that need to align with somebody. I, you know, need to know that we're compatible, need to know that we are um, equally financially responsible, need to know that we both have work ethic and we have the same dreams and goals and timelines. So these are things that you can talk about on a second date is those things that you want to achieve in life with your partner and your your goal is to achieve a committed long-term relationship your plan is to use a no kissing for three months dating rule to get there so a second date is a great time to talk about goals and plans what about just having fun on your first date what do you mean having fun like what do you mean what just having fun on your first date like not talking about fundamental values so you want to fall for somebody and then find out they don't want to get married you want to fall for somebody and then find out they don't want kids that doesn't sound like fun to me you're the best thank you what if he works full time, has kids but i've only seen him four times in the past four months so again you should be using a no kissing for three months dating rule no kissing means no commitment no commitment means you talk to multiple people simultaneously until you find the one that is the right fit for you and then you exclude all others and you commit to that person so are you just talking to this one person that you've only seen four times in the last four months that sounds like a massive waste of time to me uh you should be talking to multiple people simultaneously so that you don't waste time in your quest for the right person to start a committed long-term relationship with you're amazing everyone refix i said thank you my love thank you lovely thanks for this you're so welcome uh how do you talk about marriage to see where their head is at without them thinking you're crazy so the way you bring that up is hey i just want to let you know i'm done my play time and i'm really looking for a committed long-term relationship because i want to get married i want to have two kids um i want to buy a house one day i want to do lots of traveling with my future partner what about you see do you see how i did that it was like i own my goals i own my goals i'm confident about my goals i own my goals what about you what's yours and so you simply state what it is that you want and then you toss it back to them. What about you? What do you want? Women's dating pool starts to shrink at the age of 30. Bullshit. Do you know how many people are getting divorced? Lots. You have a limited time to find somebody. No, nope. I coached a woman in her 60s. She found somebody amazing. Uh, I was part of a ladies club, one of the ladies, she was in her 70s, she found somebody amazing online. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be fooled by limiting thoughts, uh, especially limiting thoughts given to you by guys who want you to be scared and want to coerce you into early intimacy. Oh, you're waiting three months for a first kiss? Oh my God, like that's crazy. Like the dating pool is small. You're going to scare away so many people. Yeah, motherfucker, that's the point. I'm not looking for ordinary. I'm looking for extraordinary. I'm not looking for quantity. I'm looking for quality. I'm older than you, not true. I'm 48. Do you think I'm going to have a problem? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, and, um, yeah, so actually when I was, uh, almost 40, almost 40, um, I dated someone who was 30, quite handsome. Uh, and yeah, and then, and I also dated somebody who was probably in his fifties, um, handsome, successful, intelligent, several degrees. Um, not you. I was, no, no, no. Um. Some people look good for their age, yeah. Listen, my, my husband is 49, smart as a whip, a successful, average looking man. By the way, ladies, I, I suggest you um, look for average looking men because they will look beautiful once you fall in love with them. 
but I love the average man. Give the average man a chance. Stop going for the hot guys. Stop going for the cute guys. Don't, 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 don't. Average men are the absolute best. You look great for your age. Thank you, Cocoon Apothecary. Um, Shelby, are you, are you here, Shelby? Are you on here right now? Have fun first, smile, laugh, sing together. Yes, this. Is it a bad sign if my ex who's trying to change so we can get back together is talking to new people? So here's the thing. Um, watch them, right? Observe. So he, he's talking to new people. So here's the thing. He's not trying to change. He's, he's looking for somebody who's going to accept him the way he is. He's not trying to change. Uh, so I suggest you, Shelby, um, say you, Shelby, you need to pre-purchase your session, my love, to keep your appointment time. Uh, so yeah, so if he was focused on you, if he was focused on you, he wouldn't be seeking other people. So I would walk away from this. This is your ex. Um, this is... This is your ex. Uh, oh, cancel. Okay. So this is your ex uh, because things weren't working. He's not trying. He's seeking someone else to accept the not working version. So walk away, love. Walk away. Girls go after top 20% guys. Uh, now this is a disastrous problem for them later in life. Could be, could be, could be. You mean selfish short-term thinkers, is that it? Uh, yeah, exactly. Any tips on keeping from getting burnt out by dealing with so many immature matches? Uh, don't respond to people who don't make it obvious that they ha they've read your profile. If it's not obvious that they've read your profile, then don't bother with it because they're showing a low level of effort Uh, it would be okay for me to talk to other people and not stay in limbo waiting for him. You should never stay in limbo. Like, never stay in limbo. Never stay in limbo. <clears throat> How can I stop being so negative in my life? I bring the closest in my life down too. Do a 100-day gratitude challenge. So, uh, for... 100 days, write three things that you're grateful for and you can't double any of them. Talking to someone on dating site, talked for three days, we met, he still hasn't asked for my number. Talk to more people, um, right? Like, talk to more people, like, so what? Um, it's, it's, it's the people who are not um, interested enough, like, so what this is the beauty of no kissing for three months is you you don't hyper focus on one person and hope they pull through for you it's like i'm gonna talk to you and see how you are i'm gonna talk to you and see how you are i'm gonna talk to you and see how you are and i'm gonna see out of out of all these people i'm gonna see who rises up out of the crowd and impresses me Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Armin. I'm a successful professional woman, 58. I'm always told I'm intimidating by men, not by men, my love, by guys. Guys say that because they want you to reduce yourself. They want you to have lower self-esteem. They want you to be more controllable. Um, you, my husband, uh, not for one second, has this confident man found me intimidating. So if somebody says you're intimidating, I want you to go, uh-oh, guy, noted. Okay, and keep moving on. Oh, I broke up with him, he was a three and a half. I feel like I was a generous long-term thinker until he cheated, uh-oh. A three and a half, did you, you did a session with me, love? He said I needed to change things if we got back together too, but I didn't cheat. Why? I don't know why you're hung up on him. Like, I, I don't know why you're giving him the time of day. I don't know why you're giving him real estate in your mind. We can't talk about this anymore. 
Um, we can't because uh, you need to read No More Assholes and you need to really decide that you're going to follow the instructions in that book and not care about being with a three and a half, not want to be with a three and a half. Every time me and my boyfriend argue, he goes to sleep. I feel like I need to message somebody else. That's funny. Uh, put a fight to the arguing by getting fixed that shit and doing what's in that book. I love how you're always live. It's so comforting. Thank you. Uh, I want to reintroduce myself back into the dating world, but I don't know what to say on a date. Um, so in No More Assholes, I actually give you scripts and questions to help you navigate dating. Uh, how can I work on my anger and patience with my boyfriend? I try my best, but I need advice. I have Jason. No, Jason, I don't want to. I don't want to chat with you right now. Um, Jason, I'm, uh, he's, he's on his own thing, but um, so I will fix that shit for you. For you. This is the book that's going to help you uh, reduce your feelings of anxiety. It's going to help you navigate your emotions better. Uh, in a more functional way, monitor and navigate and choose your behavior so you don't vomit into the relationship and um, just be a much, much better partner, my love. So graphic session, do what's in that book. It will change your life. If you're already in a relationship and trying to make it better, fix that shit is the book that's going to help you. I am a good communicator. He's not. He's very quiet and lets things go easily. I like to talk it out. Again, Fix That Shit is the book that's going to help you navigate this. Uh, this is the conflict resolution book. This is the book that helps you understand how to resolve conflict easily, how to understand what to talk about, when to talk about it, how to bring it up. Um, Yeah, if you if you have any, and here's the thing, when you do what's in Fix That Shit, you will create a relationship that feels more emotionally safe to him. Men do open up more when they feel emotionally safe. Uh, should we try coaching to get him to communicate with me better? That can work. Um, if the two of you wanted to come to a coaching session, I can get a lot of truth out of people. So um, that can definitely work. If you wanted to book a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click that coaching button, follow the instructions. There's three steps. Make sure you follow the three steps to book yourself in for a session. How do I be happy and proud for X for graduating even though he's hurt me terribly? I don't know why you're still communicating with him. You, you, don't, you don't need to be. It's not necessary. You don't need to be. You don't need to be happy or proud of him at all. You can just let this go and walk away and live your life. You don't have to keep looking over your shoulder and trying to summon feelings for him. If you present the three month no kissing rule and they say, I will think about it, what does that say? That's a good answer. Uh, that is a good answer. Now, it may mean they're gonna go home and ghost you, that's fine. That's not disrespectful to say I'm gonna think about it is, you know, if this is a man, if this is a guy, he's gonna go home and ghost you. If, because he's just, he's in selfish short-term thinking mode, he just was, doesn't want to come out and say, well, the only reason I showed up was because I want your body, not a long-term relationship, right? So he might say, uh, I, I need to think about this because he's going to go home and go. Totally fine. Um, if he's a man who's looking for a relationship and he's interested in you, you have proposed something that is very different which is I'm not gonna kiss to see where it goes, I'm gonna see where it goes and kiss the right one. I'm giving, you an op I'm giving you an opportunity to show me if you're the right one. Now, he's gonna be like, I've never heard this before. Uh, this is surprising, this is kind of shocking. Um, I need to rethink 
if uh, I want to start things with her because it's going to take me longer to get to the sexuality part. Um, so I need to think how much I like you before I decide if I want to step on this journey with you. Totally fine, respectable, and this is respecting you. Uh, so somebody says, so no physical relationship at all for three months? That is incorrect. I said no kissing. I did not say no affection. No kissing doesn't mean no affection. But in today's dating climate, sexuality, kissing is a sexual act because it's an, it creates an aphrodisiac. Like, don't you wonder why, why sex starts with kissing? Because kissing creates an aphrodisiac. So kissing is a sexual act. So with today's dating climate, it's kiss to see where it goes. It's like kiss by the fourth date or else, right? Like there's this fear. If I don't kiss soon enough, I lose the opportunity to start a relationship. So that kiss is fear induced. It is fear coercion to sexual intimacy. And so we are changing this. We are not falling for this anymore. We are not kissing to see where it goes and falling for fearful coercion we are seeing where it goes and kissing the right one um and so that's that's just we're just not kissing we're not doing the sexual act we're not starting the sexual intimacy until we know who you are but affection is something that you do when you feel warm and fuzzy so if you begin to feel affectionate to that person then show them affection but it's just no kissing for three months Does the no kissing for three months rule apply for even really close friends known for four years? No, 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 no. This is for strangers. Like, I just met you on a dating app. We just started talking. I don't know you at all. I know nothing about you except what you tell me, but I'm not stupid enough to just believe what you say. And it doesn't matter what you say. What matters is what you do, which means I need to observe you to figure you out. I need to know if you're telling the truth. I need to know if you're gonna introduce me to your people because you you wanna welcome me into your life. I'm not gonna kiss somebody and start a relationship with somebody who hasn't brought me into their life. And, and I keep saying this, if you're not comfortable with me, like if you're not comfortable enough with me to bring me around your people, why should I be comfortable? Like, why should I think we're ready to kiss? Like, you're not even, like, it's too early to introduce me to your friends, but it's not too early for us to start kissing. Is, is that insane? It's, it's too early to introduce me to your friends, but it's not too early for us to start kissing. Mm -mm. I'm not getting into a relationship with somebody and hoping they include me in their life. I'm not getting into a relationship with somebody and hoping they're telling me the truth. I'm not getting into a relationship with somebody and hoping we become friends. If you don't feel like we're friends enough for you to introduce me to your friends, then, but we're going to start kissing, but we're not even friends yet, but we're going to start kissing. So we're turning this around. We're not falling for that anymore. I truly think this is great advice. Thank you. What's what what what's happening with no kissing thing? It stops the love drug going into your head. Yeah. So phenylethylamine, that love drug, right? Everybody's lips secretes a chemical that doesn't do anything to them till it comes in contact with another set of lips. That combination is phenylethylamine. Have a foundation. Have uh, older men won't wait three months. Bullshit. Bullshit. Who told you that? Like, literally, I went on a book tour and I'm like, uh, it, ladies, I got a book for you. Uh, no kissing for three months, find the right partner. They're like, nobody would wait three months for a first kiss. I go, who told you that? There's, they, they have no answer. Nobody, and t unless, before you bring up the no kissing for three months dating rule, nobody came to you and said, I won't wait for a first kiss, right? It's, it's this, it's in the air. It's in the air, the pressure, the pressure is in the air it's subconscious and we're falling for it and we're not falling for it anymore older men won't wait three months bullshit when i was 40 late 30s or 40 
And I dated a man who was in his 50s. Let me tell you, chef's kiss this man. He had more style than anybody I'd ever met. He had a beautiful home. He had this incredible job traveling around the world, creating set designs. Like the Prince of Qatar, he did the set design for the motherfucker's birthday. He did the set design for the uh, uh, the Stampede Rodeo in Calgary. Uh, I don't know if he's still doing it this year. He did the set design year after year after year for all the plays for the Shakespeare Festival uh, here in Ontario. So stylish, intelligent, creative, amazing, patient. I said, I don't kiss for three months. He's like, okay. I'll wait that time. You're worth the wait if I was single. Exactly. And that's who you want to be with. You want to be with the person who says, you're worth the wait. You're worth the wait. Because this is the kind of person who will be a solid partner in a relationship. The person who says, I can't wait that long. Okay. What are you telling me? You're only in it for my body? Or you lack impulse control? Or you're impatient? Which one is it, motherfucker? Whichever it is, I'm not into you. <clears throat> A married man told me men in their 50s won't wait. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. 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 I want you to go back to him and say, yeah, so I did some research and apparently you're full of shit. And so that was a guy, by the way. Just, just so you know, we've been coerced by guys. Selfish short-term thinkers are the ones who are trying to scare us into early intimacy and don't think they're only working for themselves by the way that guy was working for guys he was working for guys he's, he's listen it's 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 the bro code right i might not get laid but i'm gonna help my bros get laid i told them pretty much the same good for you I would love to do the three month no kissing rule, but my love language is physical touch. My love language is physical touch. Did you hear what I said? No kissing doesn't mean no affection, but affection is something that is genuinely given. That kiss is not genuine. You didn't kiss him because he's amazing because you don't even know him yet. You kissed him because you were afraid of losing an opportunity. So if you begin to feel affectionate, then you show affection. But affection is a genuine emotion. And if you show affection to somebody, you are showing them genuine intimacy. Kissing before you know somebody is fake intimacy. Boyfriend with anger issues, he doesn't get physical with me or anything. He needs to deal with his, his anger. So what you're going to say to him is, I'm not going to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't deal with their thoughts and emotions and behaviors. If you insist on acting this way, I will leave this relationship. I feel embarrassed when I share that my love language is getting gifts. Uh, so listen, instead of just telling people your love language is gifts, do a love language with them. This is obviously like you're telling them because you want them to understand you. Do Instead of saying it, say, hey, let's do this love language quiz so that we can understand each other better. Give me a second, you guys. I'll be... Oh, I'm going to go get a glass of water. In the meantime, those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I just did. I'm going to be right back. Oh, I need a glass of water. When you're bathing. Charlie. <clears throat> Hello, water break. We got to take our water breaks, you guys. I'm really going to try that uh, um, that lettuce tea for like sleep. I've seen a few TikToks about that now and the people are like, make sure you have 10 hours for sleep because it's going to knock you out. Awkward silence. 
<laughs> You're so cute. I love your singing. <laughs> you guys are cute. Do, do. Uh, don't give me puzzle pieces, you guys. Make sure that you have a complete, understandable message in one box because I can't piece together um, what you are saying. Can you meet a generous long-term thinker at the bar if you use a no kissing for three months dating rule? Girl, I met my husband in a strip club. He waited two, two and a half years to kiss me. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Good men are everywhere. People are like, where can I find a good man? They are everywhere. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. Love the whole singing. Thank you. I did it for you. Uh, do you mean dating for three months or just having met them longer than three months ago? So the no kissing for three months dating rule starts when you show up, when you come face to face. It doesn't start when you're texting. It, 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 the, the ticker starts when you come face to face, either virtual date or physical date face to face. I love that. Your hair looks so good. Thank you. I love the blonde. It was it was a wee adjustment, but um, like my hair is going white because you know like I'm almost fifty, and uh, so it was it was you know it was really time to go lighter because when my roots grow out they're much lighter now, um, and I like it. Uh, it 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 was a little bit of an adjustment, but I like it. Hubby likes it too. He says it makes me look softer, so. We are here. They just do not see us or appreciate us. I'm changing that. That is my mission, my friend. That is absolutely my mission. The point of the no kissing for three months dating rule is to not get caught up with selfish short-term thinkers um, and be available for a generous long-term thinker. Hello, Michelle. Michelle says you're back. I love, love, love your TikTok telling the adults to talk. Love this. Yes, I know. I saw your comment on that. You're like, this is my favorite TikTok. Yeah. Sit down, son. The adults have entered the room. Most common responses from guys I've heard about the rule is I don't want to disrupt the flow. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay. So guys, right? We know those are guys. We're fighting over dumb things. I'm getting fed up, but I love him. Grab fix that shit, my love. Do what's in that book. It's gonna be life changing. I'm also dating a man with anger issues and I find myself asking him for affection. Mm. He needs to deal with his stuff, my love. Uh, ever have worries that your husband was cheating on you? No. Mm-mm. No. Mm. I got myself one of those men who, like, values his intimacy. Um, like, like, for him, exploration happens inside a relationship. There was no, like, like, I was gonna say there was no fuck buddies for him. Uh, so he lost his V card when he was 20 because he was waiting for the one and then he got to 20 and he was like, you know, like I'm 20, maybe I should just get it over with. And there was this girl who was like after him and after him and after him for so long. And he was like, you know, I'll just, ladies, like pay attention here. Um, he was like, well, you know what? Like, like, I just want to get it over with. She really wants to be with me. I'll, I'll do it with her. And so he, he did it with her like 10 times. And then he was like, I'm shutting this down um and so you know that was it and then he met his first wife and then he met me so I'm number three three ever uh so I'm not worried because he you know this is the first man in my life in my life who made love to me uh I'm really not worried at all he is so he's like he's a very connected connected person when it comes to intimacy in that level um he wa he wants connection so really not worried at all 
Your husband sounds like he was sent straight from heaven. Ah, oh, like, like, oh, and I mean, the man waited for me, right? Like, he saw me and he was like, that's all I need. So, really not worried at all. Not one bit. Um, not one bit. Not one bit. Uh, and I, I, I never worry that he would go back to his ex because she was kind of a corpse, uh, if you get what I mean. Um, because uh, she would use her, how she was during um, that as a weapon. Um, and, and so she would just lay there and not be interactive. Uh, using, use, using herself as a weapon against him. And when we first started doing it, one of the things that he kept saying, and he said this several times, he, he is, I know, he said this, he's like, he's, oh, you're, you're so into it. I love it. Right. And he, he, he said that because she was, she is a user. Um, he said that because, you know, and the thing is, okay. So I was like, oh, well, you know, cool. Like, I, I like that he enjoys how, how I connect with him. Right. A number of years later, you know, her and I were in a, in a friendly mode, like friendly time together. And she was talking about a guy that she was dating and, um, talking about how he wasn't good in bed. And she tried to teach him to be better in bed, but he wasn't picking up on it. So in her words, um, so when he would start having sex with her, she would just lay there in her words, just lay there and just wait for him to be finished. So then I really fully understood what my husband experienced when he was with her. That's why I say corpse, because that's literally what she was doing. Um, so I'm really not worried he would go back to her. Really not at all. So yeah. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Uh, how can you make someone appreciate you more? So you actually, the way that you get them to appreciate you more is to appreciate them more. It's my number one relationship role is it's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first. So uh, what do you say to a guy who considers the three month no kissing rule as you friend zoning him? You say, uh, I don't think you understand what I'm saying here. I'm saying I like you and I want to see where this goes, but I'm just making sure I'm going to choose the right partner for a relationship. So I, you know, like I need to know somebody before I get into a relationship with them. So on a certain level, you are right because I don't want to start a relationship with a stranger. I want to start a relationship with somebody that I've created a foundation of friendship with. Um, being a friend with me is an honor. If you're, if you think f being a friend with me is a bad thing, we're probably not a good fit at all. Um, so just kind of consider that. The three month no kissing rule finally worked, had my first date and he said, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy just holding your hand. That's so cute. I love this. Love this. Um, so going back to how you can get somebody to appreciate you more. Um, so when you show gratitude for what your partner does, it really makes them feel understood. When like this is our number one desire as people is we seek to be understood. So if you say thank you for that, I appreciate it. You're such a good man. He goes, wow, like she noticed. So start being thankful, start being grateful for everything they do and they will appreciate you more because they will feel seen and understood. <clears throat> Are you able to send the audible of fix that shit to somebody from your website? Uh, you can go to the link tree in my bio and you can download the audio version of fix that shit. So anybody who wants to purchase this, who, who wants to purchase it can, um, they can go to my website. I do have a button on my website for down for accessing fix that shit. There is a page. Like if you click the, the link from TikTok, 
to go purchase fix that shit it does actually take you to my website i believe and then i give you instructions on how to download it or you can go straight to my website canasdatingcoach.com and go uh, purchase it from there how do i fix intimacy in my relationship i don't do bedroom questions on lives i only do those on uh coaching sessions read your book and found the most perfect man we just got engaged thank you so much oh my god that's so amazing i love it read your books plural good girl good girl found the most perfect man we just got engaged i love this thank you i'm so proud of you i'm so happy for you congratulations love yes how do you deal with a boyfriend does doesn't know how to set boundaries with other women i wouldn't be in a relationship with somebody like that I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, will for willful ignorance is not sexy to me uh, doesn't know how to set boundaries uh, I'm not so sure about that so not for me I wouldn't I wouldn't stay with them that sounds like an excuse I don't know how to set boundaries uh, I don't like that if, if you want me to understand this situation better do get a coaching session but to me surface level what you just said doesn't sound cool um, but again, this is free advice. It's worth every single penny. If you want actual advice for your particular situation, you do need to get a coaching session. You're so welcome, love. Thank you for sharing. Uh, do you think braids can be beneficial when having doubts and problems? Sure. Yeah. Sometimes you need some, some time and space to gain some perspective. I feel like I need all your books. I had codependency issues and just got out of that relationship. Yes. No doubt I wouldn't be in a relationship with a boundaryless woman for sure, right? Uh, and you guys see how I am here. Like you see I have strong boundaries and I have no hesitation in putting those boundaries in place. Um, I'll be at a bar, like, you know, out at the club with my friends, dancing, having a good time. Guy comes up to me, puts his hand on my waist. I go, huh. you don't get to touch me without permission. What if he kisses you before the three months on a date? So you've had the conversation, you told him you don't want to kiss for three months, and he just goes in and plants one on you? Goodbye, motherfucker. Who the hell are you? I told you I didn't want to kiss and you decided you were going to take that from me. So you disrespected my space. So you basically sexually assaulted me because I said I didn't want to kiss you and you decided you were just going to go get that. No, goodbye. That is the utmost disrespect. Utmost disrespect. He didn't care about you. He cared about getting what he wanted. Fuck you. You're gone. That's it. That's it. Done. What was your career before you started writing and coaching? Um, stripping. Agree. Yeah. Not okay. Not okay. You helped me get off my antidepressants. My doctor said, he's so grateful for you. Oh, I want to frame this. I love that. Oh, my love. Thank you for sharing this with me. Samad. I love this. Oh, that makes me so happy. Uh, oh my God, I just heard the podcast with the with the the make the male coach. What'd you think? What'd you think? I need to make a video out of that. Oh, I need to make a video out of that. I do have a podcast. Uh, you can find a link to my podcast in the link to my bio. I put the link to the Spotify, iTunes, um, where I launch my podcast from. So yeah. Yes. Which male coach was it? Uh, I hated that male coach. He was a weirdo and goofy. Uh, I also put that um, that interview up on my YouTube channel. It's also on my Instagram and my IG channel, uh, my IGTV. Um, I'll check out your podcast. Love those while doing yard work. Yes. Yeah. Boyfriend of one year rarely touches, hugs, kisses, isn't everything. I'm happy with him, but I need affection. Uh oh. You might, so you're happy with him, but you need affection. So get a pet. 
get affection from your friends, get affection from your family, but uh, or get in a relationship with somebody who gives you everything he does because listen, he's not the last person on the planet. Um, you know, I, I thought my first husband was great, um, but I had no intimacy. And then I realized I didn't have to sacrifice intimacy for safety and security. So I have it all. So you can, you can have it all if you want it all. What do you think about men going around saying women get divorced only because women want money and stuff? Those aren't men. Those aren't men. Those are guys. Uh, how do you break a trauma bond? I don't do labels. So how do you get over a breakup? How do you get over a breakup? You get into comeback queen. Uh, I didn't understand why he brought up the whole me too thing, right? Uh, I wish I could call you. He could have redeemed himself but failed. He was so weird. Uh, he was a guy. Like you should have seen, like my people were in the comments, right? And uh, and and I'm talking and I'm saying things and you could see like, like if you go watch the interview, it's kind of comical because like you see me kind of shock him a few times and 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 sort of stumble him a little bit. And um, and so you could see me saying things and you, you could see like him absorbing it and not in a good way. And you could see my people in the comments going, Connor realizing he's a guy, so. Why was he wearing the headset? That was his microphone, <laughs> you guys. Uh, yeah. He couldn't back up his kissing rule. I know. He was like, like, I just like kissing, <laughs> right? Like that was that was his ultimate response. Is is I just like kissing? Did you note? Did you note when I asked him that question? right like he wants to kiss by the fourth date if you haven't touched tongues by the fourth date there's something wrong with you right he said that and uh and i said so if you kiss by the fourth date you know does that mean you're not going to see anybody else he's like no i'm going to see other people are you going to be kissing other people yeah note that ladies note it he speaks for guys um right he speaks for guys just because they're kissing you doesn't mean they're not seeking other people so, but us, when we start kissing somebody, we say, no, I'm seeing someone when someone else wants to get with us. So take notes, ladies, just because they're kissing you doesn't mean they're committed to you. Chantal, you're like a virtual best friend. I love being your virtual best friend. Oh my God, I'm going to go watch it now. Yeah, go watch it. It's so worth it. You can show affection other ways, not just by kissing. 100%. I wish I did the kissing rule with my boyfriend. I, it's so juicy. Oh my God, like I, I did it by accident with my husband when we first, you know, when, when, when it first started happening, I did it on purpose and, and I was really falling for the second person that I started doing this with. We were very affectionate with each other um, and it's so intimate. Like I've never slow danced in my kitchen until I, I used a no kissing for three months dating rule. Uh, little no affection enough reason to leave if everything else is perfect that's why I left my first marriage because there was little to no affection that is why I left my first marriage and I now have a perfect relationship it's not selfish to want physical affection and physical intimacy in your relationship it's not selfish what's up with the whole meeting the parents on the second date who said that? I didn't say that. I didn't say meeting the parents on the second date. Who said meeting parents on a second date? Um, if you get to if you get to month two, getting to know each other, then between month two and month three, you should be meeting their friends, meeting their people. They should be including you in their life. And if you're not, don't kiss them. Uh, and kids should be meeting kids as well. Do not bring somebody into your uh like do not pick a family member and then go here you go kids i brought you a family member if you have kids make sure they meet that person before you kiss them uh i stopped doing dating apps it's the same damn voice connell oh he said that me and the parents on the second date no 
We're, you're always live and I love it. And I've learned so much. Yay, I love it. Love it. Men are way too much. Are you sure it's, you don't mean guys are way too much? I've seen so many of my women friends turn bisexual. <laughs> Who's here from Toronto? It was so weird how he can meet parents on the second date but can't wait to kiss. That's so bizarre. Once physical contact starts, it becomes exclusive in my book. Um, yeah, I like that. Noted. Where can I buy your books? You can get them on Amazon. If you want an audiobook, you can get that through the link to my bio. It's fix that shit right now. Me, Toronto, Saman, Michelle. <laughs> he is weird. What if they have a strained relationship with their family? So family isn't always blood, right? So they're people. That's why I say they're inner circle. They're inner circle. Like, you know, I don't talk to my mom. So it's not like I'm going to introduce, if I were to start dating right now, I'm not going to introduce them to my mom. Um, you know, I see my dad once in a blue moon. He lives a few hours away. So it's not like... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, like my dad's not part of my vetting process, but my friends, my friends would be part of my vetting process. Do, 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 do. Welcome Toronto family. Do you have any suggestions for men in your books? I want to get the right one. So you are a man and you, uh, so you're asking for, like, you're a man, you want a book for men? I got a book for men. Ooh, guys, look what I got today. Oh, look at this. Look at the haul. These are my, is it one, oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five. God damn it. How did I do this? I have nine books now, you guys. I got it. I have it. Look, look. You guys have heard me talking about this forever. I have my ninth book in hand. Uh, do you think it's too soon to meet family? Uh, between month two and month three before you kiss, you should meet who is important to them. Your publisher is busy. I'm my publisher. Amazing. The breakup process has gotten much easier by staying busy and having a schedule. Yes. Uh, explain a man that's younger than you wants all the same things you wanted when you were younger. Uh, what are the types of men who are willing to wait three months for a first kiss? Uh, the ones who have goals and who who like to plan their way to a goal. The ones who are long-term thinkers. The ones who are patient. The ones who have impulse control. The ones who want a relationship and find you interesting and think you have potential to be a good partner for them. So if you are a man, where are my men? Where are my men at? Men say, here I am. Yes, yes, yes. Just curious. What is, what if the man is doing the three with no kissing rule with you, but not with others? Um, oh, you'll know. Like, like really, like you'll know, right? Uh, you'll have, you'll, you'll gain a pretty good idea. That's the beauty of the no kissing for three months dating rule is you get a good idea of who they are and what kind of schedule they have, what kind of life they're leading, right? Like my husband, not somebody who goes out, not somebody who spends a lot of time with friends. It's work and sleep and hockey games with his son and time with his kids and that's it. So you, you, if you, if you don't get into their life and get an idea of who they are and what they're doing, don't kiss them. You're literally growing up women goals. Thank you. Oh, I love you. That was awesome. That was awesome. That's a beautiful compliment right there. I love that. Uh, so bedroom stuff, I don't do on lives. I only do that on uh, coaching sessions. Uh, so, 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 my mans. Hello, my mans. Hello, my mans. I got a book for you. I got a book for you. This was called The Perfect Play. This is for you if you're single and you're looking for a relationship. You want to get with a woman who is a, a 
generous long-term thinker, not a girl who's a selfish short-term thinker. Uh, I know a lot of you get really upset that women seem to be playing a game when it comes to dating. So no more game playing, no more getting caught with women who are playing games. Uh, chapter 23, confidence wins the game. Um, so this book is going to help you navigate dating in a very healthy, effective way. This is the first button in the link tree in my bio if you guys are interested in grabbing that. Didn't know you were the three month rule when I met my man. He waited two months because he wanted to know each other. Yes, and that's men, right? Men know it takes time. Yes, I got a dude book. Yes, I made you a dude book. I did, I did, I did. Um, men know it takes time to get feelings. And so they're willing to let the feelings grow and make sure you're the right one before starting a relationship, which is why we play the whole, like we don't understand that. We don't realize that they don't tell us that they coerce us. They fear coerce us into that first kiss and don't tell us it's going to take me time to get feelings for you and know if I want a relationship. But in the meantime, give me all the goods, right? But you, listen, if they don't get the kissing and the sex, they can still develop feelings, but they don't tell you that. They tell you, I, I have to test the chemistry. I have to know if it's right. I, I can't get to the end of three months and find out that the chemistry isn't right. That's bullshit, bullshit. Don't fall for that, it's not true. Uh, what about a lady's question, everything to the point of sabotaging? Uh, that sounds like a coaching session. Do, 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 do. You don't have a picture, dude. I'm not taking you. I've gotten deep feelings for a woman I didn't kiss for a year. Yes. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Yes. And I know you can. I know you can. This is why I'm like, ladies, don't be afraid to use that no kissing for three months dating role. Um, and, and this is it. Like, I want women to find you. I want them to stop being unavailable because they're with selfish short-term thinkers. I want them to be available so that they can meet you and get to know you and get feelings for you and get into a relationship with you. Chantel needs to make a dating app for all the men and women seeking long-term relationships. I know, right? I just bought your book, Fix That Shit. I have a question for you. Okay, ask. When would you say is the best time to set uh, bedroom kissing boundaries beginning or in the moment uh, before you get in there? The no kissing for three months data rule needs to be discussed before they move in for a kiss. Um, talking, right? And so you use those three months and you talk about everything, including the bedroom stuff. How do I navigate him not having much mental energy went home because giving it all to work. Um, that's fine. Like that's, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. You greet him with a smile and a kiss when he comes to the door. Um, refix that shit so that you have a better understanding of how to be present with him because he doesn't have a lot of mental energy, but he's still present with you. So I, I teach you in here how to be present with him. Do I didn't think guys were here. Wow, so happy to see men on here. Men, like men love what I say. I uh almost 20% of my audience is men because they love what I say. Um, they love what I say because I recognize them, because I see them, because I'm here working for them. So they get an opportunity to make you happy because they are generous long-term thinkers. So yeah, men appreciate me. Guys don't like me. Men appreciate me. For a guy, just being there makes us happy. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. If she has an amazing personality, it feeds the soul and emotions. Substance is important 100%, my friend. Yes. I know. Very useful, I will be using this, yes. Uh, when my husband comes home, uh, y'all know I make him salsa guacamole, so I mash an avocado into some salsa, always have some corn chips. So he, you know, he has his nighttime snack before he goes to bed, um, and uh, he watches TV, I sit beside him, 
and I'm just present with him and he, he loves that companionship. So when meditating, my emotions that come up are so strong. I want to cry. Should I cry? Yes, you should. Let it happen, love. Absolutely. I join that up. Yay. Cute. So cute. Uh, Canada, you must stop that now. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Oops. I know I'm hungry too. Can you do a husband reveal? I have. Um... Who here has seen my husband? Can you can you tell uh, Miss San? Can you tell her what my husband is like? You're too confident for a guy. Exactly, they'd be afraid. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Men love me because men are confident and like attracts like. Um, so men are confident, so they're very attracted to my confidence. Guys. Guys don't like me. I'm a I'm a I'm a blocker. Do, 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 do. Uh oh, my parents gave me a hard time with my boyfriend of race. Uh, now he doesn't feel comfortable to meet them. Oh, girl, you. So, you sh don't don't relay bad don't relay bad stuff back and forth, right? Um. Like, don't tell your parents about a fight that you have with your partner, uh, right? Because, like, look what happens. You create residual negativity. So, and with good reason, right? Like, 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 are they, you know, would they be, like, would they be adjustable? Like, would they adjust? You know, if, if not absolutely never bring him around right if they're just gonna be racist and stick to that never bring him around but if it was just like oh like never quite thought of that and and that that's that's different i need to think about that for a second um but if you think they're open-minded enough to come around that's not something i would have communicated to him i would have given them time to come around and then let them accept him but now he's like screw them I appreciate your content so much. Thank you endlessly. You're so welcome, love. I really try to not talk to you, but I don't know when I can. Okay. She was sick for 10 years. Dating seems scary now. Mm. Uh, I can't block unless it's toxic, but I need closure. Is that bad? I need closure. You, uh, so you give yourself the closure. Whatever it is that you need to be told, tell it to yourself. Chantal's advice is setting people up for success, long-term relationships. I'm so happy to see it. Gen Z needs this. Gen Z loves me. Gen Z loves me. I do coaching sessions, you guys. I do coaching sessions with like 20 somethings with millions of followers. Um, and, and I love it. I love it. You guys are so coming. You're so ready for this because you understand that the education is lacking when it comes to relationships. And so, yeah, like it's the majority of my followers are Gen Z. I have, they are so in love. Mm. Oh, I just ate a massive plate of veggies with sasso guacamole. Your husband sounds amazing. He is amazing. My partner and I watch your TikToks. Very helpful. Thank you for your post. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I've only seen him in the masks. Of course you have. Of course you have. Is it okay to feel sad about ending a relationship even if it was toxic? 100%. 100%. Would you say men, sh men now are different? Not really, no. What if you kiss before the three month and you're still totally into each other? Good. Maybe you're lucky, maybe you have good intuition. 
I do couples coaching sessions. Yes, absolutely. Um, if you want to book yourself in for one of those, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click that coaching button, follow the three steps for booking your session. If you, yeah, so if you need to talk to me, then uh, get a coaching session. Um, get a coaching session. So go to my bio, click on the link tree and follow the instructions for booking yourself in for a session. Guys, who wants me to do a book walkthrough? Who wants me to do a book walkthrough? Uh, how can I stop being too passive in a relationship? You say what you need to say despite how you feel. Courage doesn't happen with, just because you waited for it to happen. Courage happens because you did what was scary until you got used to it. Mwah! Lovelies! Look at this. It's getting, it's getting too big. I, I said this the other day. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get to a point where I, I won't be able to hold them all in one hand. It's getting so much... How did I do this? I don't know. Uh, okay, lovelies. Okay, lovelies. Book walk through time. So I like to start at the beginning and work my way up through your evolution of love, my dear. So starting with the getting over a breakup, uh, whether you're going to dump that selfish short-term thinker or they broke up with you and thank God they did um, because they were a selfish short-term thinker and you started not putting up with that shit, it still hurts. Um, so Comeback Queen is going to help you get over the breakup and heal your heart, even if the breakup was long ago. Get a small shelf with some signage of branding. <laughs> um, hmm, maybe you can help me with that. Uh, so yes, put your heart back together with Comeback Queen. Then make sure your next one is amazing by reading No More Assholes and doing what's in this book. Get yourself a generous long-term thinker who loves you. No more selfish short-term thinkers. Uh, once you find that generous long-term thinker, you're going to move on to after the first kiss. This is the book that's going to help you set the foundation and transition from courtship to reality without going into such a strong insecurity phase because you weren't prepared for the shift. Uh, fix that shit is going to help you alleviate all the conflict in your relationship if you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you and you do what's in this book. Um, very effective at reducing fights in your relationship, my love. So uh, apparently one of the drivers that my husband deals with has been having some problems with his wife. So he bought Fix That Shit and she read it and their relationship has improved tremendously. She now wants to read another book. I'm warning you guys, if you read one of my books, it's a gateway drug. You're going to want more. And by the way, Fix That Shit uh, you guys, her book Fix That Shit is amazing. I highly recommend. Uh, you can get Fix That Shit in an audiobook as well now. It's in the link tree in my bio. So go grab that if you need an audiobook instead of ebook or paperback. But you can get all my books like ebook and paperback off Amazon. So go grab it from there. Uh, so custom made answers two questions. What is my purpose? What is my passion? And how can I monetize it? So if you are upset because your partner doesn't give you every minute of his time, uh, you are making them your purpose. So you need to have a purpose outside the relationship. This book is going to help you uncover what your talent is and then make money from it. Fantastic hobby to have. So that is going to really give you some joy and balance in your relationship, which is important to having a healthy relationship. Fake Love Not Apply, How to Avoid Posers, Losers, Scammers, and Predators. This is a free ebook. You can get this through the link tree in my bio. Click that free book button. By the way, um, the button below that is a free um, long distance guide. So anybody having long distance relationship, download that free guide. Somebody here said, I've been listening to the audiobook for Fix That Shit and it's amazing so far. Your voice is also so relaxing. Thank you. I do narrate my, my books myself. So if you like my voice, you like my advice, grab Fix That Shit. Hours and hours of fun. Uh, dating 101, mamas and papas. This is for your teenagers. There is no swearing. Also for my nerds. Um, this is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. I did write this to put into high schools if any high school would be smart enough to take my lessons and put them in their sex ed class. 
uh, say yes to goodness. Um, this book is about understanding how to be happy in life in general. I look at 10 areas of your life and how you can have the right perspective and behaviors and be happy outside of your relationships as well. So happy in general. Uh, the Perfect Play, my gentleman, I wrote you a book just for you. This is the male version of No More Assholes. So how to make sure you get into the relationship with the right woman. Don't waste time. Don't get taken. Don't get hurt. Ooh, that's a, it's, it's getting heavy, you guys. It's getting heavy. That's a genius idea to get dating 101 into schools before kids start making big adult mistakes. I am very willing to put myself out of a job. If, if, if we can get you know the kids to become functional and not need no more assholes or fix that shit, I'm down with that. If he understands and changes, if not, you're not important enough to him. Yeah, very true. Very true. My loves, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. I love when you guys um, say nice things about my books. It's very lovely. It's very nice. Oh, what do you think about a guy that has to compliment other women um, when with you? Uh, so here's the thing. Does he compliment them more than he compliments you? If that's the case that's a turn off uh that's a turn off if he compliments you more than he compliments them he's just that kind of person but if he compliments them more than he compliments you that to me sounds quite toxic uh which book should i read next to heal after 20 year narcissistic marriage uh oh need to heal after 20 year narcissistic marriage so come back queen my love i would get into come back queen and then no more assholes Yes, more with others than me, and I've expressed it. Goodbye. Why does he want to reduce you? Why does he want you to feel small? Why does he want you to be insecure? Why does he want you to have low self-esteem? Is my question. Why is it hard for my boyfriend to be serious? He laughs for everything, and so does his family. Uh why are you getting into a relationship with somebody and wanting them to be different you're welcome love he wants me to appreciate the love more by saying things less okay don't quite know what that means I broke up with my boyfriend of two years. How do I move on? So come back queen to help you deal with the heartache and no more assholes to um, help you get back out there and find your next partner. Uh, he should want to lift you up 100% and compliment you most if he won't. I will, you're beautiful, as cute. Um, so yeah, so like my husband rarely compliments me but um as little as he compliments me he compliments others less somebody says that sounds shysty as fuck and i don't know him thanks appreciate the feedback this helps yes my love yeah I already do. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Ha. Huh. Guys, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I'm doing that coaching giveaway, giving away a one hour coaching session on the 15th. The giveaway box is up, so go take part in that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. guys who's who's gonna click my bio and go tell me how many followers i have i'm like right about to hit six hundred thousand followers i can't believe i just said that and and i like part of me is like oh like i like i want to i want to tip over into six hundred thousand tonight 
who's gonna go to my bio and tell me how many followers I have? What's it at? Ah, 599.6, okay. <laughs> that's cute, that's cute. No, thank you. Uh, I see 600K. It's 0. 0.6, it's 0. 0.6, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, 0.7, did it really just, did it just pop up to 0. 0.7? Is that right? Is that right? Maybe we'll hit it tonight. Ooh, midnight, mm, we'll see. Uh, anybody not following me? Click that follow button right now. Not yet, not yet. Anybody who's not following me, who's watching this right now, click that follow button. What will you do when you get a million? Good question, what should I do? What should I do when I hit a million? You tell me, lovelies. What are we gonna do? Uh, point six, okay. Uh, eight million likes, yes. Yeah. Eight million likes, I know. Uh, so I have, like, I have goals, right? Like, I, I, I set up goals and work to achieve them. And I have a piece of paper, and it's just like, one million. Uh, buy more beautiful dresses. I have so many. Um, I said to my husband, like, I never need to wear, buy clothes for the rest of my life. As long as I stay the same size, I have clothes for life. Uh, change your hair color. No husband reveal. Oh, he's not gonna... I don't... I, may, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I can convince him to do something with me without a mask on for one million. But if we really need to focus it on something I can do, right? Um, it's kind of not fair to make him a part of that if he's really set on um being anonymous so a huge giveaway uh-huh release none more books that's a cute answer very cute answer a huge giveaway package giveaway uh-huh respect his privacy yeah he, he got up. Oh, so I told him you guys said happy birthday and he got upset. He's like, um, he was, he, you know, like when they're, when they're mad, but they're trying to be lighthearted about it. And so he, he did that. He did like, I'm kind of mad, but I'm trying to be lighthearted about it. Uh, a retreat. Um, get another dog. Ooh. Get another dog. I'm down with that one. Should I, should should I get another dog at 1 million? At 1 million, we should have a special Zoom live where we can see each other regulars. I like this. I like that idea. There's that. I could do that too, by the way. <laughs> at 1 million, I will get another dog. I do want to get another dog. Uh... Is it counterproductive to talk about exes with a potential partner? You can touch on it, right? Like it doesn't have to be a subject that you avoid, but it also doesn't have to be a subject that you get, you know, so deep into. Um, because first of all, you don't wanna make the other person insecure and make them think you are still hung up on your ex or you're still upset about your ex. It, you know, it's it's like part of a, like a, a conversation that feels casual. Um, the same way you would talk about a trip you took, right? Um, or, you know, like some other memory, but it, it shouldn't be an emotional conversation. It should simply be a factual conversation. Like, why didn't it work with your, with your exes? Well, you know, it didn't work with my first husband because there was a lack of intimacy in the relationship. And years before we broke up, we were actually sleeping in separate bedrooms. And, you know, so like that. I want people to talk about exes with me. If he says they were all crazy, red flag. Yes, yeah. So not a subject you should avoid, um, but you know, not something that, like Michelle says, right? Like you shouldn't be bashing your your exes. But it's it's good to know why it didn't work. I I like knowing why it didn't work between my husband and his ex. Um, you know, when he tells me it didn't work because 
uh, it was never enough. Um, she was never happy. Then that gives me insight into how to be a good partner with him, how to be a better partner with him. His whole family said his ex was crazy. Double red flag. Is that right? But was she though? Take a trip. A million we should have a special, right? Do, 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 do. Nancy Lamas. Oh, Jenna. All right, I'm going to take this one. She has 264 people. Asking me to go. Jenna! I girls want some dating advice, but um, I have to tell you about my situation. Please do. Can okay. I say something before you before you start? Because my people are like what? Um, yeah. So Jenna made a TikTok talking about the no kissing for three months dating rules. She actually pulled up a blog post that I did about that, and she was talking about it on her TikTok like months ago. So, and that was like really super awesome. So hello, my love. I follow you. I watch you. I've been watching your journey. You pop up on my For You page all the time. Um, because like I, I, I go, like, you know how TikTok, when you go on TikTok, like it pops you up on your follower page. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, For You page because yeah. I want the variety. And it yeah. still gives me you all the time because it knows I'm into your journey. Oh, I love that. I yeah. love that. Okay be honest with you I did not follow through with the three months dating with the three months no kissing rule it I actually 72 hours um <laughs> and you know what that's probably why I'm still single but okay listen so this yeah. is my current situation so obviously I talk about my dating life on TikTok all the time right but like I don't actually show like I don't talk about like my real dating life I only share what I want to so let's just Day that I have this friend that calls me every single day, literally every single day. And we were really, really good friends. And um, then like a couple months ago, he's like, <laughs> my sister's like, am I watching a TV show right now? What am I watching? Um, and then a couple <laughs> months ago, we were talking about like, we always talked about our dating lives, like who we were going on dates with, whatever. We were very like transparent. We were really just friends. And then one night I was telling him about the situation I was in with like my crush. And I was like, yeah, I don't really like him. Like, I'm, I don't want to date him. I just want to be like, you know, I don't want to go hook up with random people on the weekends. I just want him to be like my go-to person, whatever. And he's like, so you just want to be friends with benefits with this person? I'm like, yeah, basically. And he's like, well, why don't we do that? And I'm like, well, you never asked. And then he's like, well, okay. And then basically we're like friends with benefits for like, literally two months but it didn't it wasn't really it was like you know to say friends with benefits it would have to be mutually beneficial it really wasn't beneficial because he was really just talk like calling me talking to me getting like my emotional support when he wanted and then I eventually called things off and now he brings up all the guys that I talk to and like asks me about my dating life consistently and I'm like okay that, like what do I what, what do I make of that so is he trying to pee on you? Is he trying to mark his territory? Is... <laughs> oh, do you, do you, like, like, does it feel like he has a sense of ownership? Like I've marked that territory. This is my territory. <laughs> Everyone on my end is like, wow, this is a lot of information, Jenna. There's a lot to unpack. Um, I mean, like, kind, like, no, not really kind of, but like, I don't know he's not <laughs> not territorial but like he's kind of invasive of my life like it sounds wants, territorial he like wants to know who I'm talking to who I'm going on dates with and like why I'm not dating them and I'm like why does it matter to you like we're literally just friends unless you actually like me and then he'll always make comments too like oh I think you're in love with me and then I come back and I'm like, no, I think that you want me to be in love with you. Yeah. He, so, so this is, and, but he doesn't want a relationship. Does no. He? I, he doesn't. I don't think so. No, he does. Like he talks about wanting a relationship. But I don't think that he's actually 
like I think he likes the idea of it I think that he likes the idea of different girls but then when he's actually talking about what he wants in a person he's describing me to a T like and I'm like hello I'm right here you talk to me every single day what's the issue so tell me why the two of you haven't started a relationship um, well, I'm really stubborn, and he's really stubborn, and I think, uh, if I'm reading the situation correctly, we both like each other, but we won't admit that we do. So we both, like, play games, because I I want to win. <laughs> Toxic. Okay. Do you think he would be a good partner? <laughs> do I? Yeah. Do I think that he would be a good partner? Yeah. Why? Because we're, like, best friends. I know him really well. Um, and, and our like life goals and our career goals align. He like challenges he's, me. He's financially responsible. Yes. Very. Yes. So when you guys go out, he always pays or most of the time. We don't really, we don't really like go out. We don't really go out. Like, I mean, we've literally never gone on a date. Okay. So, um, like, we're just friends, so it's like, why would we go on a date when we're just friends? But we hang out. But you want to be more, and he wants to be more. No, but I don't know if he wants to be more. I just assume in my head, because I'm like, why wouldn't he want to date me? I'm awesome. <laughs> Maybe that's just me being like, you know. You guys stop being friends with benefits. Yeah, I called it off. And why? Because I was like, I don't really want this anymore. Why like, not? Well, I said my reasoning was because I cared. I was like, but I what cared. Is your reason? But I didn't tell him, like, he made his own assumptions. Mm-hmm. I said, I care about you, but I meant in the fact that, like, I don't want to be invested in this and then, like, end up hurting myself. Mm-hmm. I care about the friend that, like, I would rather be friends with you and, like, save our friendship rather than, like, eventually break my own heart. You know what I mean? So, are you ready for a relationship? Yes. Okay. Well, get straight with him. Like, stop pussyfooting. Mm-hmm. What is his face? Vulnerable. <laughs> How are you going to have a healthy relationship if you can't express your thoughts and feelings? <sighs> I don't like that you're right. Because I'm scared of rejection. Because, like, what if I'm, what if I'm, like, okay, I like you. And then he's, like, oh. Okay. So, on this hand, you're afraid of rejection. Mm -hmm. On this hand, you don't say anything and he finds somebody and gets in a relationship and you get to watch him get married and make babies with someone else. Guaranteed this is going to (laughs) happen if you never say anything. A chance you start a relationship with him if you are honest. See, but my mind thinks just, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that he, words. I don't think that he would get in a relationship. I don't know. He might. But, like, I think in the back of my, we talk literally every single day. So, what's he going to do? Start dating a girl? And then he's like, oh, I want to talk to Jenna right now. But then he's like, oh, I can't really. And then he sees me being with, like, other guys. And then mm-hmm. he'll call me and be like, oh, how was last night? Did you hook up with him? Or, like, how did it go? Is he in love with you yet? Yeah. And I'm like, why do you care? I don't ask you what dates you're going on. I don't ask you what your future is. Is he going on dates? Yeah. And that's perfectly okay. I'm fine with that. Because I know right. in the bottom of my heart, no one else is like me. So he can go on a million dates, but he's literally never going to find another me. So right. he needs on all these dates so he can exhaust all of his options before he finally realizes that I am the one. But what if he goes on all these dates and then he finds somebody who's you plus a little bit more? Mm, Not possible. (laughs) Okay, I guess it is possible. Jenna 2.0. If Jenna Mm -hmm. is never awesome, or sorry, if Jenna is never honest, then... Oh, I, I glad. So if you're never honest, he's going to find you 2.0. <laughs> I 
<laughs> my sister's in the comments saying I am Jenna 2.0 <laughs> Does she approve of him? Does she like him? Yeah, she does. Okay, that's good. So be honest. Say, what's his name? No, I can't say that. Okay, so Tony. We're going to call him Tony. So, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. No, but that's that's also oddly specific. That's really I'm weird. Sure. So, <laughs> that's weird. Dave. So, so you're gonna go, Dave. Okay. Why aren't we in a relationship yet? And just say that. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Okay, I'll do it. You're Jenna. You got yeah. balls. You're right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so I say this is what I say, Dave. David, Davy, okay. why are we not? But not like that. Oh, what do I? Okay, not not in an accusatory way. Why are we not in a relationship? Not in an accusatory way, Dave. Right, and you and you just go, Dave. Dave. And he's gonna go, yeah. And you <laughs> go, why are we not in a relationship yet? <laughs> And then he's going to be like, and then he's going to do, and then I, I don't know. What. I know. And you're going to listen to his answer. I really don't like the unknown. I like to predict. And I like the, I like me to be the one like, you know, playing the game. <laughs> okay. Well, when you're ready to start a relationship with him or when you become afraid that he's going to find somebody else one or the other do that dave and he's gonna <laughs> go yeah you're gonna go why aren't we in a relationship yet okay all right i'll like <laughs> Um, likelihood that I do this super low, but oh. I'm not possible. My, it, it might happen. Right. <laughs> that is my advice, my love. Okay. If you, you know, as well as I do, if you want something, you make it happen. Right. Mm, yeah, I do do that. I am. I am pretty known for that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want it. Interesting. Hmm. Make okay. It happen. Okay. You can do that. Give me posted, okay? Okay, I'll let you know how it goes. So how do your sister for me? I will. I'll give you like I'll give you two weeks before I give you an update. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna wait for it. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thanks for bye lovely. Do 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 to I know Tony. <laughs> Somebody has good intuition. How can you and your significant other become closer and more connected? Uh, get fix that shit, my love. This is the manual on how to create a close, loving, intimate relationship. She might just like the chase. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. <clears throat> I have some patience. I do. I do have patience. I do have patience. Uh, I don't do labels like the attachment style labels. I don't do them. Everybody's saying Tony. <laughs> Everybody's saying Tony. Uh, everyone is scared of rejection. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I, uh, you know, I mean, I worked as a stripper, right? If you don't get over your fear of rejection, you make less money. Because if the only people you're going to dance for are the people who are going to come and get you, you will make a significantly less amount of money. I started, like, I, I pretty much doubled my income when I started approaching people instead of waiting for people to approach me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so, she's like, yeah, she's young. She's young. 
example, Michelle. I think she's really afraid of rejection. I feel for her, but she's got to go for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's okay. No, it's, I'm not worried about it. I don't, I don't, listen, like, I just, I did, I just don't take other people personally. So she can do what she wants. Uh, we have to lead by example all the time. Yes. If someone didn't text back for a week, then came back, is that a sign that they aren't into it? Uh, it depends. You need more behaviors in order to actually assess um, somebody properly. Uh, she puts on a big front saying, I'm the best, hiding a really scared inside. Yes. Um, how do I get this man to stop letting our age stop us from getting into a relationship? You can't coerce people into doing anything they're not comfortable doing, my love. You don't think those labels, oh no, I don't think those labels are legit, no. Um, the, uh, um, that, that attachment style thing, um, we can change. We can change our brain structure, we can change our DNA. So slapping you with a label is unnecessary. Um, I, I, we examine your behavior, like here's the attachment style theory. Examine the behavior, give a label. Um, if you want to change it, here's the behaviors are going to turn it around my way, examine the behavior and then give the behaviors that can turn it around. I get the exact same outcome without the label because the label is unnecessary, but it, 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 it makes you feel worse. Doesn't it? it makes you feel worse about yourself. You're like, I'm damaged. I'm broken. Uh, I, I have a, I have a, an emotional STD. So no, completely unnecessary. And in fact, it delays your healing. Uh, I agree we can change, but I mean, it's, it's been important to me personally to see that. So here's the thing, you don't need a label. Um, you, you, I, I get attracted to anxious style folks. Great, like attracts like, perfect, we all know that. Um, but you don't need to give yourself a label, you can say, I have anxiety. How do I reduce my anxiety? Um, I, I feel, I often feel stressed out. How do I reduce that? I am often fearful and I vomit insecurity into my relationship. How do I change that? We don't need to give you a label. We look at the behaviors and then we look at the behaviors that are going to turn this around and give you the outcome that you want. The label is not necessary. Do you recommend prenups? I have a prenup. I'm fine with a prenup. I'll, anytime I get married, I'll sign a prenup. I don't care. Uh, I can make my own way in the world. Uh, I, I will choose a partner who is fair and generous. And if I'm gonna sign a prenup, it reflects that. Um, so a partner who is fair and generous throughout our relationship. Uh, the prenup that I have with my husband, like, um, uh, you know, uh, like the, the cars are under his name. Um, he, uh, he, you know, in the prenup is a car, right? And that's it. Like that's our prenup is, is I would have a car and it just, it just kind of facilitates like, because I came into this relationship with the car, he kind of took the car under his wing. My car became part of his fleet. And then we switch up that car for another car. So when I leave this relationship, I have a car. Um, and that's totally fine. Would you do prenup with kids? Again, it needs to be fair and generous. And so choose a partner who's fair and generous and you will have a fair and generous prenup. What if my personality is the problem? That can change, right? Like, like uh, that can change, right? It's like, a personality is how you express yourself. Is it not? Are you saying you have zero control over how you express yourself? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Words don't just tumble out of your mouth without you being aware of the lips moving and the tongue against the teeth. So uh, all you do is you keep your lips closed. You think about what you're going to say before you say it. If your personality is rude, that can change. If your personality is disrespectful, that can change.
I agree, I just meant it's been helpful for me to have more information on those attachment styles. Yeah, but it's just, again, like you just don't even need to, 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 it's, I just really, like you agree, I know it was helpful to you, but you could have still had the same help without the label. Uh, I didn't want to live with him unless I was engaged. I left, now I regret it, okay. <clears throat> uh, oh, look at this, Michelle. I used to have borderline personality disorder. I no longer do. When you said that three months uh, we should meet his people, but if I'm not committing to him, is that weird? Uh, so you want to, like, if you're looking to get into a committed relationship, you want to be included in someone's life before you choose them as a long-term partner. Don't choose them as a long-term partner and hope they include you in their life. Can you write a book on how to be a generous long-term thinker? Yep. For men, it's called The Perfect Play. For ladies, it's called No More Assholes. I never looked at attachment styles that way. You're right. Thank you, my love. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so many comments. Hello, lovelies. Does anybody want a notification when I go live? Say, I do. What does it mean when he says he loves you but isn't in love with you anymore? Ask him what that means. Ask him what that means because I can give you a definition but that might not be his definition. So you should ask him what that means. Uh, okay, all of you who want a notification when I go live, click on my picture up here. You, once or twice you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that, say I just did. I'm I'm hungry. Y'all is 12:30 and I am hungry. Uh what are the distinct behaviors of a short-term thinker versus long-term thinker in a relationship? So, no more assholes has 12 character traits. These are what you use to grade their paper. These are 12 distinct behaviors that help you understand the difference between a selfish short-term thinker and a generous long-term thinker. When you go through each of the traits, give them an X or a check mark. They need to get at least a nine out of 12 to be a generous long-term thinker. So if you want to figure out if somebody's a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker, um, you can grab no more assholes or you can come get a coaching session and I can do an assessment or you can assess it yourself by looking at the 12 character traits in no more assholes. I would love to see a day in the life. I know you guys have asked me for that a few times. Oh, been meditating 20 to 30 minutes a day. I love it. I love it. Oh, my man bought me dinner after he went to help his friend. That's amazing. I love it. Okay, my loves, I'm gonna head out. I'm going to head out. Um, go follow me on Instagram. That, co that free one hour coaching session giveaway is up. So go take part in that. Um, hit up the link tree in my bio. There's so much stuff in there for you. Uh, the coaching button is in there if you want to book yourself in for a session. Uh, links to my YouTube and podcast. There's some freebies in there. There's a free book. There's a free long distance guide. There's that meditation resource uh, button that has a free meditation guide in it. Um, so go, go, go check that out. I don't have Instagram. So go get an Instagram account just so you can come and take part. Um, and oh will you be doing audiobooks for your other books as well yes i'm working on no more assholes right now we are halfway through uh enjoy your music and time with heavy you bet i will you bet i will uh what's your best advice for becoming a better woman for yourself i admire you a lot thank you um you can get say yes to goodness you can get custom made these two books are very instructional on how to have a happy and balanced life for yourself 
highly recommend say yes to goodness um start with that if you want to dive into like figure out what your purpose is and monetize it then custom made is the book for you i love you guys love 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 you i'm going to go i will see you soon you know i will because i never stay away for long um i'm gonna go have a good night's sleep and cuddle up with my man and my babies my little my little Charlie passed out on the floor over here. Mwah. I love you, lovelies. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Love your content. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and I'll I'll talk to you soon. Good night, my loves. Mm -hmm.